Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1 connected to a modern display via HDMI using the McBasil adapter. So this is one of the many adapters that you can buy on Amazon. I'll leave a link to this in the description. And basically it is an HDMI adapter for PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. And as you can see here, we're playing the game Red Star and uh, this is a PS2 game being played on this PS2 Slim. And we have this McBasil adapter here. So if I just zoom in a little bit, you can see that this is basically an adapter which goes into the display out of your PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. And then we have this uh, micro USB cable, which is actually being plugged into the front of our PS2 USB port. Uh, if you don't have a spare USB port, then you can use any kind of uh, USB charger with a micro USB cable and basically connect that in. And then the last part is to connect this HDMI cable in here. And uh, what's interesting about this cable as well is that we have a couple of options. We have the ability to switch between 720p and 480p, and uh, we can also switch between 16x9 and 4x3. So 4x3 is the original aspect ratio, and then 16x9 became more popular for um, kind of widescreen games, which not everything supports. So if I toggle between this, you can see the black bars on the edges here, and then you, you can toggle between 480 and 720p. So we just press that button. You can see here, this is the original aspect ratio that are these large black bars here. And so this is a really cool way of connecting up your PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. You can see here PS1 or PS2. Um, the main thing to be aware of is the fact that if you plug this particular one in, then you need to switch the uh, display out. What you need to do is basically take out the game from your PlayStation 2, and then we just restart. And then I've got my PS2 controller here, and um, you need to switch between RGB and the other composite display mode which allows the more digital versions of the actual display to work. And so on the controller, let's say you, you can't see any display because you plug this in and it's on the wrong mode. Just go to, just press down with the controller plugged in, press the X button, wait a couple of seconds, then press down and then down and then down. So that's three downs, press X and then what you can do is press left in order to select Y, C, B, P, B, C, R, P, R, then X. And I can do the opposite here. But basically, if you follow this sequence and you can't see the screen, that's going to basically going to enable this component video out. And then you're going to be able to play all of your games as normal using this adapter. So anyway, what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for this HDMI adapter. This is great because it basically means you can plug in your PS1, PS2 into any modern TV, and it's gonna be working for your PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and you don't have to bust out the component cable. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.